As we've just finished speaking to Peter Fury, we are now here with Huey Fury, and I've got to say a massive congratulations. Ring rust gone, right? Yeah, 100%, that's what I needed, and, and uh, I'm happy finally back in the ring. That's the main thing for me, because it looked like I wasn't going to be back in the ring, so finally back in and uh, onwards and upwards. Can you take us back to like when you're walking out? Because I saw your lovely robes, by the way. I think it's Bespoke Boxing that did that. So shout out to them. Your nice, lovely, shiny robes that you walk to the ring with. When you're walking, Huey, to the ring and you're thinking, OK. In fact, what, what is going through your mind? I was just happy. I thought, thank God that I'm finally back doing what I love. And that's the main thing. It was, uh, it was nice to be back in the ring. Three years out is a long time out, but uh, finally uh, got there. You're climbing through the ropes and you're here. I know you've had a lot of support there because you could hear them. They were quite vocal, you know, and obviously you're taking off your regalia to get ready to, to start that fight. What, were, what words were going through you? Because obviously, like you said, three years out is a long time. I want to be in that ring with you on fight night to know exactly what you were thinking at that time. I was just happy. I was just happy to finally hear uh, my name getting shouted okay. and the audience there. It was just fantastic to do to be back in the ring doing what I love best. And how did you find the opponent, a, a tough, a, a durable opponent, somebody that wants to back you up, wants to see you on the ropes, so we can let those overhand rights go, overhand rights, overhand lefts, which I saw that you was always tucking up, you was always on guard, ready for that. But how was that fight with Dobby? Yeah, it was good. It was just, I was just taking my time in there, to be honest with you, it was just getting the ring rust off. We wasn't uh, going flat out. The main thing was, was just getting in that fight and not getting cut or anything like that and then oh. on to the next fight because that's the concerns of that. So you can go flat out and all of that. In the day, our key was just to get the ring rust off and we're back in training Monday morning, sparring again, and that's it. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't even think of that because you're allegedly, you are out on May the 11th. Yeah. So it's not just this fight that you're going to be thinking about. You're thinking, okay, I need to get through this fight because I need to be there and I need to be present on May the 11th. Added pressure maybe or? 100%, listen, all it takes is one headbutt or something like that and you're caught and you're out and I definitely didn't need anything like that. So my plan was to just ride through that fight and then back onto training again. So how did you find him as an opponent coming to, obviously, I know you've obviously got study footage because he's there to be seen. He's had a few fights. He's an experienced fighter. So how was it when you were in front of him? Because sometimes, I'm saying this, Huey, because us fans take, you know, the journeyman. Sometimes we, you know, we think he's a journeyman. That's what he's supposed to be doing, isn't he? But when you're in the ring and you're opposite him, how did you find him as a fighter? He's a tough, he's a tough fella. He's, he's there. You can hit him all day long and you can let your hands go and, um, but that's what they're there for. But you can slip up at the same time. If you was hit him and go half a lever, then that's what he's there for. He's an experienced fella. But this type of work, we just wanted it. We just wanted to like the shots, just get back in the ring of things and, uh, onwards and upwards. You've, the father's mentioned, uh, that. I think round one, you came back and you said that uh, your legs were feeling a little bit heavy. Talk to us a little bit about that. And obviously when you're thinking, hold on a minute, we've done round one, I've been sparring, I've been doing 10 rounds in sparring. Why is this happening? Yeah, it's, um, it's all part of the game, isn't it? You think getting back in there again after being so long, you've got to expect all of this. And my dad said this to me. He said, all this here for being at the ring so long, he said, just take it easy in there and relax. He says, I'm not interested in pleasing anyone. Let's do our thing and we've got the next one to build on. Simple. That voice, I mean, you've had no other voice in your ear. And I, I, I didn't realise that you were 29 with 30 fights in. That is a lot of fights to have at quite a young age. May I ask, and forgive my ignorance, how old was you when you had your debut? Was you about 18 or something? 18. Turned pro when I was 18 year old, yeah. And how many fights were you having a year? I'm not going to do the maths on it because obviously you've been out for a bit. I think um, for my first year I had 12 fights. Yeah, I was fighting every. I loved to fight. This is what. And when I first started off, I wasn't even getting paid. I just wanted to fight. Uh, these were, that's what I was. I was the most active heavyweight. I was uh, out every week and uh, it was amazing. That's what I like to do is activity. And to be honest with you, now I need to get back to where I am. 
and the more fights for me is the better. So it's just about getting back in the light. Do you think it would be difficult to build that, that momentum back up now? Because like you said, you wasn't necessarily getting paid. You just wanted to be out every weekend. You would have been on those smaller hall shows where you could have that activity. Now that you've been under the you know bright lights, boxed under sky, we've seen you on all the big shows. We know who you are. Getting that momentum again this, this time round after having the break, do you think it's going to be a bit of a task? I know you're up for it, but you're prepared for that like uphill walk that you've got to do. Yeah, 100%. I'm a fighter. I love to fight, so it doesn't matter to me who they put me in the ring with. So I don't really give two fucks who the next opponent is. That's up to my team. So my key is, is doing what I do best, is jumping in the ring and fight. And whatever fight gets me on the way is activity for me, so I don't care who it is. We can now say May the 11th. I know you can't obviously tell us who the opponent is because nothing's yet confirmed. But coming from you, what, what can we expect to see from you on May the 11th in Cardiff? Um, up my game a bit and uh, that's it. Every single fight now is going to be improved. That fight there was just literally getting the ring rust off. And again, there's a lot more. It's probably, that was like 20% of me. So I'm looking forward to the journey and getting to where I need to be. We love it. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the win, guys. Huey Fury is back out May the 11th on the undercard of McCaskill versus Price. Uh, make sure you tune into this one. And thank you so much for your time, Huey. No problem. God bless. Thank you. People say I'm toxic, and honestly, I don't care.